Good morning to you all students of Form 3. And this is an alternative video about the same objective I made, again, for the Sky Pre Universitario, and again, inspired by the CSEC syllabus about the sugar plantation, and again, describing, explaining, identifying in depth is really important. And the topic is as following. Describing the organization of the typical sugar plantation. So they were different in Curaçao or in Barbados or Cuba or other places in the Caribbean, but typically they look like this. The objective, it's about the use of labor. That's the content. And the objective is about describe how the sugar crop was grown in the Caribbean in at least eight correct phrases. Writing is very important. So making correct phrases, minding your grammar, paying attention to your spelling, those are pretty essential. It's, your language makes it clear to me what the answer should be. Yes, and the answer you can find in page 53 of your textbook for Caribbean history. You begin with referring back to the question. So sugar crop was grown in the Caribbean. This is a trick, of course, but it makes sure that your answer looks qualitatively good. Yeah, so always refer back to the question. Yeah, begin with that. It's a good trick and it really makes your thinking um, visible to me. And it's just a matter of convention, the way we work in uh, colleges and universities. So how the sugar crop was grown in the Caribbean in at least eight correct phrases. And you start with sugar crop was grown in the Caribbean. Back to the cursor. Sugar crop was grown in the Caribbean by irrigating the soil first. And after waiting for the moment, the, 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 the ground was fertile. Uh, uh, the next step began. After digging shallow holes, the planting could now begin. Okay, so irrigating, waiting for fertility, and then digging shallow holes. Okay, holes are put in these shallow holes we just digged to be able to put the stalks in. And around 15 months later, canes could be harvested, like cut off. And after that, the canes could be processed. The heaviest work would begin at this moment, after harvest. The juice will be extracted from the sugar canes. With help from a mill, would grind the sugar canes. And when the mill, mill's work would be done, the remaining juice would be boiled, skimmed and cool, cool, cooled, cooled down. And what would be left, the leftovers would be brown sugar and molasses. Yeah. And the brown sugar would be the sweeteners for people in Europe, but from the molasses, rum would be made. So the leftovers would be brown sugar, one hand, as you can see in the picture. Yeah, so this would be leftovers, brown sugar, but also, yeah, leftover would be molasses. As you can see in this picture, this would be the sugar cane. And the molasses would be the gooey, dark brownie stuff you can see here, what is like the, the basic ingredient of rum. Yeah? And that would be the result of all the hard work and the labor. Yes? I found, hope you found this informative and helpful. Uh, I wish you a very deserving and um, recharging uh, Easter break. And I will see you next week. Enjoy your day.